With more doses of the vaccine becoming available, health officials are encouraging all health care workers to get vaccinated when they can, but not everyone is ready to get the shot. Kimberly Davis is in Spring Garden with the message to convince some minorities the vaccine is safe. Hi, Kimberly. Hi, Jess. One local doctor tells me people are choosing between life and potentially death when it comes to making a decision whether or not to be vaccinated against COVID-19. And it all comes down to history within the black community. With great reason, many African Americans are reluctant to receive a coronavirus vaccine. And that comes from years of unfortunately mistreatment by the healthcare community. Choosing between a COVID-19 vaccine or taking your chances with contracting the coronavirus. It's the reality many are facing, but especially in the African American community. Is it more of a risk for you to get coronavirus or is it more of a risk for you to take the coronavirus vaccine? And I just leave it there. Dr. A. La Stanford is a pediatric surgeon and founder of the Black Doctors COVID-19 Consortium. She received her first dose of the Pfizer vaccine on December 16th. After the first dose, driving home, I felt um, a little queasy, sick to my stomach. My arm was sore and I had a headache. By the time I got home, I felt kind of okay. I slept, but the next day I was exhausted. Dr. Stanford is one of a small number of African Americans who made the decision to be vaccinated, a decision many other African Americans in the healthcare community are opting out of, according to Philadelphia officials. No one's going to force them to take the vaccine, and I don't think you would support that either. Uh, and so all we can do is offer to people, make it easy for them to get it, and then to try to talk to them to address their concerns. Dr. Stanford believes those of color working in the hospitals are also skeptical of the vaccine due to the history. When it all comes down to it, it is a personal decision. But Dr. Stanford says time is of the essence. If your opportunity arises and you miss it, there may not be vaccine again for a while. And that is the truth. Dr. Stanford will receive her second dose of the Pfizer vaccine tomorrow.